Now, I was a bit scared to film this video just because... Hello and welcome back to a video you did not search for. My name is Keely and in my video today I'm going to be um, reacting to or rather re-watching a video I saw when I was younger. It's a, a video by Russell Brand, the comedian, the British comedian and actor forward slash spiritualist guy on YouTube now. And at the time I was actually, I'm, I'm not, not a big Russell Brand fan. I'm not a, really a big fan of anyone. I don't really have favorites in terms of work and whatever, but I enjoyed his content. I still enjoy some of his content. But at the time it, I was quite young. I was like, I think I was still in school or just in college or something along those lines. I'm not quite sure what year this came out. I think it's 2000 and it's either 2009 and I just had children or it's 2007 and it's in college or 2006, I'm not sure. It's big hair Russell though. And uh, I watched it and I showed my parents, my grandparents, adoptive parents, whatever. And uh, I remember my granddad or dad getting very, very angry. Now, let me go back and explain. So, if you have watched my videos before, you may know by now that I was adopted by family. That means my birth parents had to give me up or basically I was taken away from them because they suffer from schizophrenia or they are diagnosed with schizophrenia. I don't know about the word suffer because it's different for everyone. Anyway, so uh, I grew up with my grandparents, therefore, to, to know where I'm going with this video, my mum has schizophrenia, right? Now, I was a bit scared to film this video just because I am aware that she is my mother, however, she is also someone's sister, she's also someone's auntie, she's also someone's daughter, do you know what I mean? So, although both her parents have passed away, but there are other people related to her and I'm putting this back out there, even though it's already been on national television. And I think it's important for us to see how things are spoken about and it how we should change our thinking pattern, but also still be able to allow ourselves to use comedy to get through certain situations. I don't want a completely PC world where we're not allowed to say anything at all, but also we do need to think about how what we say affects people, if that makes sense. Let's watch the video. Oh, don't you miss the days when the news used to be something quite simple rather than loads of people dying every day from COVID or war in the Middle East or refugees trying to get just to another better place or uh, Donald Trump, thank goodness that's, that's on its way out. Let's continue, shall we? An enraged pet shop customer was today sentenced to a year's probation for stamping a budget to death in after she'd been given it as a peace offering in a dispute about the purchase. Listen how the audience laughs at the fact that something was killed. That was, uh, I don't know. I, the, I'm trying to remember the first time I watched it. I think the first time I watched it, I giggled a little bit. One, I was younger and two, I guess I just laughed with the laughing track kind of thing. Um, but yeah, as a vegetarian, <laughs> almost vegan, um, I don't think killing animals is funny, but there we go. The dog. <laughs> a woman was arrested after she stamped on a budgie, which was given to her as a peace offering in a dispute about a dog. That sound ridiculous. This crazy animal hitman bartering loony system. Sorry, what, you don't like the dog? Now, would you like this budgie? No. Naturally, I want to laugh because it's so absurd. <laughs> That's a weird impression. Like it, you would think the person was like that, but knowing my mother, she's not like that, and I'm sure it was much worse than he's making it out to be. Um, yeah, because that was a horrid thing. Why would you ever offer a budgie for a dog? was offered as a peace offering in a row about a dolphin, which had originally been handed over because she didn't like a lizard, and this stretches back to a quarrel that Jesus had about a woolly mammal. <laughs> Listen to how, after this frankly preposterous conduct, she tries to justify herself. So now it's coming to the excuse time, I'm definitely not going to say anything, a bit wacky. After her arrest, Mark... See, this is, I think this is where information is definitely 
valuable to the story because obviously if you had known that the person who'd done it is suffering from a mental illness then you may have some not some sympathy because I don't think mental illness should excuse violence at all at all but you would have a better understanding as to why the person committed the crime that they did in this case it's just like oh there's a, a loony person and I think those terms in their in their on their own is a bit like oh we'll just make it comedic and things which is fine I guess but at the same time can be seen as quite hurtful I don't know what to feel because I totally I'm someone who always sees both sides so I just I don't know I don't know Hastic of Hackney, North East London, who was nearest the camera, was alleged to have said it was only a budgie. And outside the court today, she said she did it for a reason she couldn't explain. Couldn't explain. That's fine. Yeah, don't worry about it. Was it magic? You got the magic circle? I'm afraid I can't explain. Don't ask me why I killed that budgie. Do, do. See, this... <laughs> This is uh, where you should be going, oh, if she can't explain it, maybe it's voices in her head telling her how to do it, but you know. And then the magic circle thing is just quite funny because I used to, I used to practice wickers. I was like, hmm, maybe. No, she's not magic. She's just unfortunately very mentally ill. Yeah, this is, this is such a strange, now that I'm filming myself react it, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm, Clearly, I am lost for words, is what is happening. Riddle me this. Did I stamp on the budgie? Or did the budgie stamp on me? Now, unfortunately, that does make me laugh. I'm a Batman fan, and obviously he used the riddle there. And I'm also a fan of physical comedy as well, and yeah. But at the same time, I'm like, that's my mom. She gave birth to me. She literally created me in her womb with my dad. Oh, now I'm thinking about them having sex with her. Anyway, don't even get me started on that. Sometimes when people have schizophrenia, they have no filter. So I've heard way too much than I want to. That's it. Oh my goodness, that's such a short, short clip. So um, I don't know what to. I don't know what to say about that, guys. Let me know if you were ever. In that position when you are watching TV, you're watching a show you used to watch because I used to watch Ponderland, Ponderland quite a lot. It's a comedian that you really like, um, or you used to it at least when you used to have favourites or um, when you were younger. Um, and they start talking about one, a family member, two, your mother that you don't know properly because you were taken away at birth and you're like, oh my goodness. Could you imagine? Let's, let's just think. Could you imagine if I did not know about my mother? And that was how I found out. Because I couldn't, I couldn't even think, uh, like, what? But yeah, so, I don't know what, I don't know what my aim was. I think, one, I wanted to show you how comedy can soften things. Two, I wanted to show you guys, like, the full contents of, co contents? The full context of things really does matter. Three, I guess it's okay to laugh at things that are hurtful. I know for me, um, someone who suffers with depression, with severe anxiety, um, I definitely use comedy to mask a lot of what I feel. Yeah, I don't know. I I just wanted to put it out there. Yeah, guys, very strange one, to be fair. It's a very strange one. I want you to think about, and I just, I really want this to be a thinking one. Just think about how we approach things, how we talk about things, but also not to censor ourselves too much because I think it's important that we are still allowed to laugh in society. That's it, that's it, I'm done with it, that's it, that's the video, it's gonna be nice and short. Guys, I want you to love yourselves and love each other. Don't forget to wash your hands, social distance, wear a mask, and guys, take care of yourselves. Good.